Welcome Novians, Sky here, aka Trilon, bringing you another episode of Ship Showcase, where the community builds something, they show it off in this video, and I bring it to you guys. So let's get started. Go ahead and say your in-game name and the name of your ship. Hey guys, my name is Virtual, and today we're going to be checking out the Nagato. The Nagato. Boom, there she is. What a dart. What a beautiful, sleek, narrow ship she is. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with the questions. First off, was it mostly you or, like, an org, a group of people? How many people were hands-on building the ship? I built the ship mostly by myself. Um, I had a little bit of help from a friend. His name is Danjo815 on building some of the more complicated parts. The ship was actually contracted by somebody to our corp. So the corporation does some contract building, and he sent us a design. And he was like, hey, make it happen, and we did. So here it is nice it's it's pretty nice man it looks pretty good so the next question so we, we covered who who all built it let's go with the time so from the core being plopped down to being flight ready and pretty content with it i guess i guess when you're able to contract it out and and, and give that ship to said person about how long did that take so it was about two weeks from placing the core to having the ship satisfactory however there was also a good two week planning phase before that so we graphed the design out on graph paper and measured it all perfectly, all the angles and things like that. That's awesome. Before okay. actually placing it. Okay, so with, with with the design plan in place to full construction about four weeks, which makes sense, I think, with the quality of ship when it comes to like really taking your time, especially if there's a customer involved and maybe they want something specific, you want to make sure that you put your, your best foot forward, right, I'm assuming? Absolutely. That okay. was definitely the most important part. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Okay, so the next question, what inspired you? Was was it, um, you know, did the customer say, like, this is what I need it for? Or were you just like, you know, let me just make something and hopefully he's happy with it? What what inspired you to specifically design the ship the way that it is? Yeah, for sure. Um, of course, you did send a design, and that was the, the main inspiration. But I also wanted it to be a good hybrid ship. I wanted I wanted the uh, the owners to be able to carry ore. I wanted it to be kind of a good daily driver. That's okay. also fun to fly. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, well, I'm definitely interested in seeing how she flies. She looks like she'd be really fast um, and handle atmosphere really well, just because she's so narrow. So let's go ahead and make our way on the inside, which is in the in the hatch here on the top. Let me look around on the inside, and then you can go ahead and hop into the pilot seat, but don't take off yet. I want to make sure I see that. Okay, cool. So I like these glass panels that you have here over the, the warp drive. That's really nice. Because um, the warp drive, I think it's the most beautiful element in the game right now. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's really, really nice. Oh, yeah. It's it's awesome. We love making it part of the design. Oh, this this hallway area here with the tanks is, is really cool, too. This looks good. Okay, so the nose comes out this way with the tanks. Let me turn back around. Heading back to the warp drive. Let's skirt around the warp drive here. Head to the rear end area. There's a little compartment here. There's the core access. And you do have what? What is it? A medium container, I think, in the rear area here? It's actually a large container. Oh, it's a large. it is capable of carrying the whole thing. Wow, that's pretty impressive, man. Nice work on that. Okay, let me go ahead and have a seat, and then I'll ask just a couple more questions, and we can get her going. I like uh, your screen display stuff here. Is there anything specific that you that it displays while you're flying or anything? Um, it is actually designed for a radar trip, so it shows oh. the uh, orientation of the ship and, like, a table with some more things. However, currently the... Uh, the Lua command for that radar script isn't working, so that's why it's not running. Okay, well that's unfortunate, but in the future I'm sure you guys will get that working and, and show that off. So let's go ahead and take her for a spin and see how she looks uh, in atmosphere. Let's do it. And away we go. Nice little runway you got there. Oh man. What a dart. Okay, so while we're in flight, I got a couple more questions. I'm gonna go ahead and ask you, who's your main org? Who are your people? Like, uh, who do you belong to? All right, yeah, I am the founder of Zenith Corporation. We currently have um, some like 75 members, and like I said, we do a lot of shipbuilding. Gotcha. So that's kind of like the focus of the org. I get it. Which, uh, on the topic of focus, what's the focus of the ship? Uh, you, I think you covered that it was just kind of like an all-in-one. Is that really the the general gist of the ship here? Yeah, that was that was the idea. Like I mentioned previously, you know, I wanted something that that was really user friendly, something we could take to space, something that could go, you know, I could go to Jago and put, you know, two kiloliters of ore in the thing and just fly it back. And, awesome. Yeah. All right, makes sense. Uh, so the I got just a couple more things. So what, price wise, like if someone wanted this, 
Would you sell them the blueprint? Do you sell them the ship? Like, what, what kind of numbers are we talking for this ship? Yeah, absolutely. There is a little bit more refinement I want to do just to make it a little bit more unique from the actual customer ship before it's for sale. However, once it's for sale, the ship will probably be 50 million for me to place it for you, and then 25 if you bring your own parts. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right, I like that. Okay, so I guess the last thing I have for you is do you have any last words, statements, anything pertaining to the ship itself? Uh, any, any, you know, shout outs to any individuals or the game or, or anything like that? The floor is yours. Go ahead and, and say what you want to say. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank you, Sky, for giving me the opportunity to show off my ship. And I'd also like to mention that we have an aerospace expo happening October 17th and 18th at the spaceport back there. We are at Alias South Pole. There'll be an announcement on that pretty soon. Awesome. Yeah, I'll be sure to put some of the details in the description below. Um, those of you that are watching and are interested in that, do you have any other uh, information pertaining to that where people can go to find out about that? Orc should be making an announcement about that soon, so people will be able to see. But okay. other than that, um, yeah, that's about all I have. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. And one last time, go ahead and say your in-game name and the name of your ship. Name is Virtual, and this is the Nagato. The Nagato. All right, guys, I want to thank everyone for watching. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, so if you guys are really enjoying this content, please give me that subscription. All right, let me, let me know that, uh, you know, I'm doing good stuff and you'll want to see more. Uh, if you like the video here, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. Uh, I, tw I stream on Twitch pretty much every day. It's twitch.tv slash trylon underscore sky. Uh, and that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So until next time, I'll see you later.